Hey there. Ready to unlock the power of AI? Always. Today we're diving deep into the world of large language models. Oh, those incredible AI systems. Yeah, the ones that can generate text, translate languages, and even write different kinds of creative content. I know, it's amazing what they can do. We've got a stack of fascinating sources all about the tools that are making it easier than ever to build with these LLMs. Even if you don't have a background in coding. Exactly. It's like stepping into a world where anyone can become an AI architect, you know? I love that. The tools we're exploring, Langchain, Langgraph, Langflow, and Langsmith, are opening up a whole new realm of possibilities for building AI-powered applications. I'm especially excited because these tools are all open source. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, which means they're constantly evolving, being shaped by a vibrant community of developers. A lot of brilliant minds working together. Okay, let's unpack this. We've got these four Lang tools. It's a mouthful. I know, it can feel a bit like alphabet soup at first. Yeah. So to help us keep them straight, maybe we could start with a challenge, a problem that these tools are designed to solve. Sure, that's a great idea. Imagine you're trying to build an app that can answer questions based on information scattered across multiple documents. Okay, so a pretty common problem. Oh yeah, this is a common challenge in many fields. From yes. legal research to customer support. Definitely. Traditionally, this would require a lot of manual effort to extract and synthesize information. Okay, I see where you're going with this. So how do these tools help? Well, let's start with Langchain. Okay. It's a framework that allows you to chain together different operations to create a workflow for your LLM. So you're connecting different things together. Yeah, think of it as a series of steps that your LLM will follow to accomplish a task, okay. like a recipe. So in our document question answering example, yes. we could use Langchain to create a chain that first retrieves relevant documents, then summarizes them. Right. And finally, uses the summary to answer the user's quoken. Exactly, each step is like a building block. I like that analogy. And Langchain lets you easily connect those blocks together. So it's like the foundation. Yeah, and one of the coolest things about Langchain is its modularity. Okay. It supports a wide range of LLMs. So you're not stuck. So you're not locked into using a specific one. Gotcha. It also has built-in components for handling things like prompts, memory, and agents. Okay. Which we'll talk about more later. Okay, so Langchain is like the foundation. It gives you the tools to build basic LLM workflows. Okay. But what if you need something more complex? Right. What if you want to create a system where multiple AI agents work together, kind of like a team of specialists? That's where Langgraph comes in. Okay. Langgraph, as the name suggests, uses a graph structure yeah. to model these multi-agent systems. Imagine you're building a virtual assistant that can handle tasks like scheduling appointments, booking travel, and managing emails. So like a really advanced virtual assistant. Much more than we have now. Each of those tasks could be handled by a separate AI agent. And Langgraph provides the framework for coordinating their actions. So Langgraph's like the manager. Yeah, it's like having a project manager for your AI team. Gotcha. Langgraph helps them communicate, share information, and work together seamlessly. You mentioned agents. Yeah. Could you explain what those are and how they fit into all of this? Think of an agent as a mini AI program with a specific role or expertise. Okay. In our virtual assistant example, you might have a scheduling agent, a travel agent, and an email agent. Each with their own specialty. Each agent has its own knowledge and capabilities, and they can collaborate to complete tasks. That makes sense. Langchain also has agents, but Langgraph really excels in orchestrating these multi-agent systems, especially when the workflow is more dynamic and unpredictable. So Langchain is great for simpler workflows while Langgraph handles the more complex multi-agent scenarios. Okay. This is all starting to make sense. But before we move on, I'm curious about something. You mentioned that Langgraph has a more powerful system for managing state. Yeah. Can you explain what that means and why it's important? That's a great question. State management is all about keeping track of information and context over time. Okay. In a simple Langchain workflow, information is passed from one step to the next. But it doesn't really remember anything. But there's not a lot of built-in memory. Yeah. With Langgraph, however, you can maintain a persistent state. So we can remember. For each agent and for the system as a whole. So it's learning. This is crucial for applications that need to remember past interactions or maintain a consistent context. So if I'm building a chatbot that needs to remember what a user said earlier in the conversation, Langgraph would be a better choice than Langchain. Exactly. 
Landgraf's state management capabilities make it ideal for building applications where context and memory are essential. Okay. Think chatbots, virtual assistants, and any system that needs to learn from past interactions. This is fascinating stuff. We've covered Langchain. The foundation. The foundation for building LLM workflows and Langgraph, which specializes in multi-agent systems. Mm. I'm really starting to grasp the power and flexibility of these tools. Me too. And we've only just scratched the surface. We still have Langflow and Langsmith to explore. Each with its own unique capabilities. Did it be good? I'm excited to learn more. All right, so ready to uh, move beyond code. Yeah. Into the realm of visual AI development. You bet. That's what I'm most excited about. We've talked about Langchain and Langgraph, which both involve writing code to build your LLM applications. But now we're moving into the world of no code or low code AI development with Langflow. Exactly. Langflow is a visual tool that lets you create LLM workflows by dragging and dropping components onto a canvas. It's a game changer for people who might not have a toting background but still want to harness the power of LLMs. So instead of writing lines of code, I can literally build an AI application by connecting boxes and arrows. That's the idea. Langflow provides a user-friendly interface where you can select to opponents for things like prompts, LLMs, data retrieval, and even connect to external APIs. You can then connect these components visually to create your workflow. It's like building with digital Lego blocks. That's incredible. I can see how this would be a huge advantage for prototyping and experimenting with different ideas. You can quickly test out different workflows and see what works best without getting bogged down in code. Absolutely. Langflow is perfect for building minimum viable products, MVPs, and getting something up and running quickly. It allows you to focus on the logic and functionality of your application without worrying about the technical details of coding. Plus, I imagine it makes it much easier to collaborate with others, even if they don't have coding experience. Oh, definitely. You can share your visual workflow and get feedback or iterate on the design together. You're spot on. Langflow promotes collaboration and makes AI development more accessible to a wider range of people. It's a powerful tool for democratizing AI. Okay, so we've got Langchain for building foundational workflows, Langgraph for managing complex multi-agent systems, and Langflow for visually designing applications without code. But how do we know our applications are performing well? How do we ensure they're reliable, efficient, and behaving as expected? That's where Langsmith comes in. Okay. Think of it as a quality assurance tool for your LLM applications. Gotcha. It provides monitoring, debugging, and evaluation capabilities to help you understand how your application is performing and identify any areas for improvement. So it's like having a dedicated team of AI engineers constantly monitoring your application, looking for errors, bottlenecks, and ways to optimize performance. Precisely. Langsmith gives you insights into things like latency, cost, and the quality of your LLM's outputs. You can track how your application is performing over time and use that data to make informed decisions about improvements or adjustments. That's essential for any serious LLM application. You need to be able to trust that it's working correctly and efficiently, especially if it's handling sensitive data or interacting with users in real time. Absolutely. Langsmith helps you build confidence in your applications and ensures they're operating at their best. This whole landscape of Lang tools is incredibly impressive. We've gone from building basic workflows to orchestrating multi-agent systems to visually designing applications and ensuring their quality. It's mind-blowing how much progress has been made in making AI development more accessible and powerful. I agree. It's an exciting time to be working with LLMs. These tools are opening up a world of possibilities, and I can't wait to see what people create with them. Me too. We've covered a lot of ground in this deep dive, exploring the capabilities of Langchain, Langgraph, Langflow, and Langsmith. It's been a whirlwind tour of the LM development landscape, and I'm already buzzing with ideas. I'm right there with you. These tools are incredibly versatile, and I can see them being applied to a wide range of industries and challenges. It's like we've been given a set of powerful new building blocks, and the only limit is our imagination. Okay, so we've explored these incredible tools. Langchain, Langgraph. Langflow, and Langsmith, and I'm already starting to see how they could revolutionize so many fields. Yeah, it's like we've unlocked this whole new level of creativity and problem solving. Exactly. Let's talk about some specific examples. Sure. You touched on virtual assistants earlier. Right. How could these tools be used to create even more powerful and intuitive assistants? Well, imagine a virtual assistant that can not only manage your schedule and emails, yeah. but also learn your preferences oh, wow. and anticipate your needs. That would be incredible. Using Langgraph. Okay. 
You could create a system where multiple agents work together to understand your context. So they're all working together. Learn from your interactions. Wow. And provide personalized support. That'd be amazing. Yeah. No more sifting through endless emails or struggling to keep track of appointments. Your AI assistant would be like a super efficient personal secretary. Exactly. And think about the possibilities in education. Oh, yeah. We could use Langflow to create interactive learning environments that adapt to each student's individual learning style. So personalized learning. Imagine a system that can assess a student's understanding, okay. provide personalized feedback. Wow. And even generate customized practice problems. That's a game changer. It could make education more engaging, effective, and accessible to learners of all levels. Absolutely. And let's not forget about the potential impact on creative fields. Oh, interesting. We're already seeing AI being used to generate music, no, seen that. art, and even write stories it's pretty amazing. with these tools. Yeah. We could empower artists and creators to push the boundaries of their imagination even further. It's exciting to think about the collaborations that could emerge between humans and AI. For sure. Artists could use these tools as a source of inspiration, yeah, a way to explore new ideas, mm -hmm. or even as collaborators in the creative process. Absolutely. And as these tools become more widely adopted, right. we'll likely see entirely new forms of art and expression emerge. Things we can't even imagine. That we can't even imagine yet. It's like we're at the beginning of a new renaissance, fueled by the power of AI. But with all this potential yeah. comes responsibility, right? Of course. It's crucial that we use these tools ethically and responsibly. Absolutely. We need to be mindful of potential biases, ensure data privacy, and always prioritize human well-being. Couldn't agree more. And we also need to think about the broader societal implications. Yeah. As AI becomes more integrated into our lives, right? how will it impact jobs, education, and our relationships with technology? Those are important questions. Yeah. And they don't have easy answers. Definitely not. But having these conversations now is essential to ensure that we're shaping the future of AI in a way that benefits everyone. So what's the one key takeaway you want our listeners to leave with today? For me, it's the incredible potential of these open source tools to democratize AI. I like that. They're empowering anyone, regardless of their technical background, to build incredible things with AI. It really is incredible. It's a truly exciting time to be in this field. I couldn't agree more. This deep dive has been an eye-opener, and I'm feeling inspired by the possibilities. Me too. To our listeners, we hope you're feeling the same way. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI. It's an amazing time to be involved. Until next time, keep diving deep.